another edition of good morning and welcome to another edition of kindergarten at home I'm Miss Joanna I'm so happy to see you all today I um, can't wait to do a um, another session with you guys I will start again as usual with our poem and another story and then show you one of the great activities from our program so today's theme is snow and I don't know about where you guys live but here where I am we are we just got hit with a big snowstorm um, so it was absolutely beautiful yesterday and we have tons of fun snow to play with um, <laughs> so I am ready I'm excited to be here today and I will start with our little poem so I hope you guys can help me and do it with me See the snowflakes fall from the ground. See the snowflakes all around. There has to be a thousand or more, but not one is the same as the one before. See the snowflakes falling slow. Each one has a special place to go. That was awesome. I'm gonna try it again. I, I made a little mistake at the beginning. I'm sorry but um, we're gonna try again. <laughs> so, bear with me. See the snowflakes fall to the ground. See the snowflakes all around. There has to be a thousand or more, but not one is the same as the one before. See the snowflakes falling slow. Each one has a special place to go. That was really nice. I don't know if any of you have really seen a snowflake up close, but they are absolutely beautiful. Um, anyway, so I'm going to move on to our story. So sit back, relax, grab a nice cup of cocoa, and <clears throat> enjoy. <clears throat> Jackson was playing with his twin brother, Ian. Ian was jumping from a huge snow mound, grabbing a snow-covered tree branch and making the snow fall off and splatter all over the ground. Try as he might, Jackson could not jump as far as his brother to grab that branch. When they went inside, Jackson told his mom that he wished he was as tall as Ian. He was feeling disappointed and discouraged. Jackson's mom told him that this was the perfect time for the boys to start their session of kindergarten at home, just like you guys. Today they would be chatting all about snowflakes. Jackson wondered how on earth snowflakes had anything to do with him being short. But he loved learning new things, and snowflakes definitely sounded like they would be neat to learn about. Mom told the boys, that no two snowflakes are exactly the same. <clears throat> Out of the millions and millions of snowflakes, they are all unique, just like people. Snowflakes are made up of three different things, water vapor, ice, and dust. The dust can come from plant pollen or even meteors. As the snowflakes form, they always take on a six-sided shape called a hexagon. If the snowflakes formed in a cloud that was extra cold, they would be bigger and have bigger ice crystals. If the cloud had a lot of moisture, the snowflakes would hold more water vapor. Jackson asked if the snowflakes that came from one cloud were all the same, which was an excellent question. Mom explained that they were not. Even though they came from the same cloud, snowflakes took their own unique journey to the ground. Snowflakes each left the cloud and twirled and spun their way down to the earth in their own way. As they fall, they might bump into a tree or be met with extra water vapor or catch a strong wind. All of these things would make the snowflake change a little but do you know what Mom, Mama said? She said that every single snowflake that landed on Earth was beautiful. Every single one. Mama explained that it was the same with people. 
Everyone was unique. Everyone took their own path. And everyone was beautiful. Jackson and Ian smiled at each other, then asked if they could go back outside to play. As Jackson watched Ian jump off that mound of snow and grab the snow-covered branch, he smiled again. Perhaps Ian was taller than he was, but Jackson had an extra clever mind. This time as he jumped from the snow mound, he held an evergreen branch in his hand and gave the snow-covered tree branch a mighty sweep. So much snow fell down that both boys were covered from head to toe. They laughed together happy that they were both unique. That was awesome. I have to say, I think that could have been maybe one of my favorites and I've loved so many. I hope you liked that one too. So now we're going to move on to our activity. Just bear with me. I have a little tickle. So we're going to move on to our activity and I don't know if you guys have started this theme yet, but this one really is a fun learning one. I've really enjoyed doing this one with my little guy. We've had tons of fun. So keep us posted and let us know how you guys are doing. And today's activity is all about snow color mixing. All you need is some snow, some food coloring, some small bowls to put the snow in, a baking sheet, and potato masher. So I wanted to get ready for you guys a little bit. So I made my snow already. So I mixed my snow with some food coloring. So this one's my red. I use our primary colors, red, yellow, and of course blue. And so I'm just going to show you now what to do but you guys can help your mom and dads and make this all you need is to take the snow put in a bowl add a few drops of that food coloring take your mixer and mix it all up and oh you're gonna see such cool things happen the cool thing that happened now is going to be the mixing part so I'm gonna show you what to do next so you guys are gonna get to pick your colors I'm gonna start with my red and I'm going to put some on a bake on my baking sheet. And I'm going to put on top of it, I'm going to put some yellow. What do you think is going to happen? Can you guess? Hmm. Who knows what red and yellow make? I'm going to give you a clue. Oh, I see it. It's starting. It's starting. Oh, this is so fun. I'm going to mix it up real good so you to show you properly on the screen. Might add a little bit more yellow. Hmm, if anybody has any guesses, you can let me know. So when you mix, I don't know if you can see it, but on my, right here, on my tray, I just got some orange snow, which is super fun. Um, then you could try it with the other colors. You can mix yellow and blue. What did those make? Do you know? Should we try it together? Let's try it together. Let's see. Let's see if this is more of a... You notice this color has changed a little bit more. So you can play with how much you add of each color. So I'm going to add some blue. And I'm going to add my yellow. So my snow here is a bit cold. And I'm going to use that potato masher, which is really a fun way to mix. I don't know if you've ever tried mixing with a potato masher, but wow, is that fun. Maybe supper tonight will be some mashed potatoes. Hmm. So you can't see it super well. But oh my goodness. Yep. 
Oh, we got it. So guys, I don't know if you know, but I'll show you. I'm trying to lift it up, I'm not sure if it really worked. So do you see the green? So that was super fun. Then the last color we can mix, I'm gonna, I think we're gonna try it. It wasn't going to, but I'm having so much fun. So I think we're gonna do the red and the blue, and I hope we see my favorite color. Can you guess what my favorite color is? Should I tell you? So red and blue, boys and girls is dum -da -dum, da -dum -da -dum. so this one you can't really see unless you mix i guess a lot of it up oh, here we go it turns out to be a very dark purple so fun and purple boys and girls is my favorite color so that was fun to do at the end i really had such a good time with this activity i think we're gonna try it again upstairs because this was so cool we're gonna enjoy that as a family this time <laughs> i hope you had fun with me here at kindergarten at home i miss joanna it was such a good time today i hope everyone has a wonderful wonderful day have fun in our snow if you have any. If not, pretend. Use that amazing imagination. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful theme in our unit. So enjoy your learning, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye for now.